the area as you know that i'm in is genetics and what's happened over the last twenty years has been a whole revolution in biology which is a recognition that living systems in fact obey certain chemical laws and once you know that you can start asking can i make the chemicals that make up our inheritance that that determine whether our hair is black or red or our skin color is white or black and in fact this is now being done we're toying with the chemistry of life not me but other people in, in the area and the potential for this is that man has now come to a point where he can conceive of actually changing the hereditary heredity of people now what does that mean it means on the one hand that you can correct a lot of diseases that affect man like diabetes perhaps uh, it's conceivable even to think of correcting short-sightedness uh, certain kinds of mental disease and so on uh, another the plus things yes that's right another plus thing is that it's now conceivable to uh, cut off a person's arm and grow a new arm and that's a very exciting concept and it's already being done in a certain number of animals well, I, I think for that reason we have to support this kind of research. What bothers me is that in a, in a world that's becoming extremely complex, in which the environment in, in many ways is being ravished very rapidly, rather than trying to recover our good environment, our clean air and clean water and so on, we may begin to say, well, let's adapt man to the noxious gases in the air and the dirty water. Let's start tampering with his his basic makeup and adapt him and that's a very dangerous thing I think. But, but doesn't man do that all the time isn't man essentially an adaptive organism no but I'm talking about genetic adaptation uh, if we can't tolerate um, a high level of carbon dioxide now this is strictly science fiction but why couldn't we conceive of uh, putting genes into a man that will allow him to use carbon dioxide or at least get rid of yeah. it without being noxious uh, when we start talking about tampering with the essence of human lives and minds, then I think we're in a very dangerous position because we don't have wisdom.